What's up, Arizona Coyotes fans? Paul Bissonette here on a beautiful Saturday morning. Well, a little bit overcast, actually, but we're in Hermosa Beach for an episode of Home Trippin' with fan favorite Brad Richardson. And uh, Saturday morning, you'd think you'd be hitting up the beach, sipping pina coladas with those little mini umbrellas in it. Nope, not Brad Richardson. There's a reason he's aged like a fine wine. 19 goals last year at 34 years old. That was a career high for him. And we're gonna be hitting up the Pilates room where we're gonna get that sweat on on this wonderful Saturday. So let's head inside, catch up with Brad, and looking forward to spending the full day with him. What's up, Richie? See you guys, this is how you play such a long career. Saturday morning, he might even had a bottle of wine or two last night, but he's up early, dro drove his bike over here <laughs> in order to get the workout in, get the sweat out. There you right? go, let's do it. Well, what's your name? Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, she's gonna be our Pilates instructor today. You usually do Pilates a couple times a week? I try to, yeah. You know, it helps me feel good, keeps the hips and everything going, so. Yeah, that's my little secret. Little background for you Coyotes fans, me and Brad Richardson played uh, junior hockey together with the Owen Sound attack. That's when you had, what, 47 goals one year? I don't know, this. There's quite a, a few lot. goals. And we saw a glimpse of that last season, 19 tucks, career high. Thanks, buddy. So Pilates. Maybe, maybe, Pilates. Uh, maybe after a couple of Pilates workouts, I'll be, <laughs> You'll be back, comeback. baby. I'll be starting out in Tucson, <laughs> and let's go, baby. How is that shoulder from? That's all right. It's perfectly fine on camera. As you can see, that's the weak part of my, my body is the flexibility aspect. And uh, that's why we're here though, we're here to work on things. And strengthen at the same time. It's not about all those fancy big muscles, it's about the little guys. You can't neglect the little guys. I don't know about you Richie, but I have high arches, so I find that I get a lot of, uh, a lot of stress, st st stress, excuse me. See, I can't even talk, that's how stressed I am. <laughs> on my AT bands because I'm walking on the outside of my legs. Where, where do you have Hello. flat feet? Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling salts. <laughs> I still have to do one more on this side. See that kids? Take notes, no cheating in my game. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. You did it the hard way, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're scratching the claw in here. <laughs> That wraps things up at Pilates. Big thank you to bring me for a workout there. No worries, buddy. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Did nice. you enjoy it? No, it's nice. It's it, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to yeah. be, especially it's been a while since I've done a class, but just I feel like so much more mobile now. Yeah, it's just one of those things too you can do. You can, you can have more of a stretch or you can make it really hard and like a super hard workout, but some on weekends like today, you kind of just want to stretch it out, feel good and you know get a little abs in for the beach, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, we're going to be hitting up the beach and uh, we got some fans over here. Some Go Coyotes! Go Coyotes! <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Let's maybe there's going to be a Donnybrook at the beach later. <laughs> a couple Coyotes against the Hawks fan. But we're going to go play a little beach volleyball, meet up with some friends of yours, and uh, have a good rest of the afternoon. Guys, we just finished our Pilates workout. Brad Richardson didn't uh, didn't take a ride over. He's got his bike here. That's what all these people do. They cruise around these bike cruisers. As you can see, they're parked outside of Martha's, which is a great popular breakfast spot right next to Hermosa Beach. So you got the view as well. And it's actually a place where the LA Kings frequent quite a bit. So maybe we'll run into them. Maybe we'll have a bit of a, a standoff and we'll set the tone for this season in the Pacific Division. Sorry, buddy. You're trying to... We're bu bugging all the locals. Uh, we've been, I don't know, we've been having that, that same thing for years, so I don't know. It's one of those. We're creatures of habit. We are. And, and he's going right back to the white corn it's scramble. Pre game meal sometimes, like on an afternoon game. We no come down way. here for pre game. I have the white corn scramble, maybe a few pancakes. Well, I gotta ask you, what was it like when you were playing here? Just like every day, you're just basically on the beach. It's pretty awesome. I literally live like two blocks from where I live now. And it's kind of, we came here, we came to this place across the street called Bottle Inn. So it was like our two spots and we're still hitting them, you know, 10 years later, so. I see enough NHL paychecks you can afford to live around by the beach here. And uh, clearly I'm still in North Scottsdale in a one bedroom apartment, so I didn't get enough of those paychecks. <laughs> Hey, uh, what's it called again? The white corn? White corn scramble. Guys, white corn scramble might have been the best bite of breakfast I've ever had in my entire life. Check it out. 
at Martha's 22nd Street Grill in Hermosa Beach. Quick plug for you, no swipe up or promo code for you, but it's not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> $11 million gets you in Hermosa Beach. Brand new build right there. One day biz. Now I do have to ask, do you guys have a permit? I'm, How uh, much for lemonade? What kind of, we don't, a dollar ain't gonna cover it, it's 250 a lemonade. Oh my God, you guys are charging an arm and a leg yeah, here. No, Inflation, not. 250 a, a drink. Thank you, thank you guys. These are delicious, we should talk about uh, making these and maybe selling them in bulk. You bought, you bought these? them? Oh. And then you put them in your own package? Good for you guys. Vet move. Uh, I think the, the LA Kings guys were scared. A few of them didn't show up. Jeff Carter, there's no way he's gonna take on this type of physique. And uh, his body's more for show. This actually gets the job done. And uh, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna mop the floor with some civilians and it's gonna be a great time. Career high at 34 years old. All right. 19 well, goals. Old guy. I think we were 4 0 against the LA Kings last season. I think so. Are you guys Kings fans? Oh, no, we're Coyotes no. fans. Coyotes fans, okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll edit out a few of your bad shots now that you're a Coyotes fan. But not too many because you guys are going down. We're going to play a best of three up to 11. And I'm going to let Brad take it over on a rock, paper, scissor. Best two out of three. Whoever wants to play for who gets first serve. Oh, oh wow, the clean sweep. Like, hey, I'll, ball, I'll give you a serve. I haven't served a volleyball in a long time. Just a little underhand, keep it, keep it classy. Oh, that's, on, a redo. that's a redo, that's a redo. We lost the point there. We got him right where we want him. We got, uh, we got the mental edge, I think. I think going in this, I think Pilates might be taking its toll right now. Yeah, I feel flexible. I'm just uh, a little fatigued. Well, Are you serving? Sure. Five, four. That was a big point. Bro. Is that huge? I feel like this home ice. might be a little bit bigger, so that's where the difference so? advantage might lie. But all in all, I mean, that was a great second game. I think we really got on the same, same page. We had some good high fives too, which is big in volleyball. High fives are big. <laughs> I feel like there was a mid-game text out to the friends. Hey, we need some, we need some backup. The enforcer. Weird, all these distractions start coming when we're up 6 0. Oh, oh, that's dirty. That is dirty, I'm sorry. Very good job. We're number 65. Cheers, drop. Oh! Oh, oh God. Richie! Is that in? Oh! What a shot! <laughs> Guys, great job. Awesome. Very nice, thanks guys, that was fun. Oh god. You, you always have to remain humble in victory or in defeat. I agree. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Specifically when you win. A little more humble when you, yeah. when you, when you lose. We're gonna snap a picture. You dangle, the, dangle the carrot. Just dangle it out in front of them, make them think they got it, and whammy! Well, now we got, go. now we've got two more fans, and if you guys ever make it out to Arizona, I'll even give you a couple tickets of my own. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good guy. All right. Good guy. There you go. This was an awesome day. You were nice enough to give us your time and bring me for a workout. Yeah, we had a great day, buddy. It's a little tiring, though, isn't it? A little beach day gets you. Um, it was, and I can see why you spend your weekends here, though. This place is, uh, I mean. <laughs> this place sucks. Your personality, man, it's unbelievable. We're so happy to have you back. One more season with the Coyotes, and they'll re-up you for five. I already talked to Tykes on that one. Perfect, yeah. yeah I want to play it on 45, so that's perfect. Coyotes fans, that's a wrap. Another edition of Home Tripping with Brad Richardson. Uh, very, very uh, solid player for the Arizona Coyotes organization. Looking to build on his 19 goals last year. How many times have I said that today? 
You've said it to just random people that don't even know what goals are. <laughs> 19 goals, baby. <laughs> that does it. <laughs>